Message coming in. Patching it through. Uh... I received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. <sighs> How? I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? All four scientists worked on a classified project on a coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. Hmm. It was classified as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. They were involved. You think these scientists had something to do with the attack? I'm not certain what I think, but it's worth investigating. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. I don't even know what you wanted me to do. Anyway, new solar system, shinies. Nothing. Uh, Jun Crow. Jun Crow is a hydrogen helium gas shine with traces of chlorine and sodium in its upper atmosphere, like Uranus in the solar system, or in the solar system. Uh, it is tipped on its side, its north pole facing the star Newton. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Omicron. I mean, Ontaram. Yo, this is where we gotta go. Ugh. Sesmos. Sesmos is an ice dwarf world. Its surface composed of almost entirely frozen water. Normally, a planetoid this small would not rate inclusion on the system's chart. But Sesmos, unusually large and beautiful ring of ice crystals, uh, has made it a popular subject for visual artists. Clay core, cling core. Survey. Matriarch writing. I thought we got all of these. Cling core is a rock and ice planet with an atmosphere composed of chlorine and argon. The frozen surface is mainly composed of potassium with deposits of iron. Gotcha, gotcha. And here, uh, go to the journal. We find, um, not this. Not this. What the heck is over here? Uh, I don't know what we're here for, but it's on this planet and it's not this or this. Also, I have six million because I sold everything. I geared out everybody and I sold everything. As far as the saves coming went, I didn't get any new armor. And that's the only thing of note that I would have pointed out. New armor. Damage on weapons is incremental. A I mean, just min-maxing at this point. So, let's do whatever we're supposed to do here? Antaram. Yeah. Though Antaram's surface is uncomfortably hot, its nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere and abundant shallow seas make it an ideal candidate for habitation by known species, by most known species. Unfortunately, the orbit of the moon on Thonal has been slowly decaying since the system Colins Colescens Colescend I don't know what that word is uh, Its proximity is beginning to have tidal effects and its dynamo like revolution mm -hmm, mm -hmm, through Antaram's magnetic field is generating increasing power elect wait power increasingly wait increasing powerful electro Storms. I got tongue tied somewhere during all that. Jesus, this last paragraph. While some have been said, uh, while some have suggested emplacement, emplacement of Mass Effect drives in an attempt to lighten the moon and correct its orbit, the scale of such a project, tens of thousands of drives, costing enough to bankrupt the government of all the Citadel races, makes it a pipe dream, a multiracial effort is underway 
to catalog and preserve the unique genetic diversity of Antrom's vibrant young biosphere, Exogenicorp, mm, and Heiyuan gen, uh, Genomics? Genomics? Genomics represents the Alliance's share of efforts. Here we go. No idea what we're here for. So, Garrus, Ashley, you're up. Watch, I need somebody to do biotic crap. Watch. Well, it looks nice. Anomaly, debris, and where we need to go. Ooh, all in a nice little line. Thank you. I appreciate it. Don't appreciate these cliffs. Do not run over Get these out. things. What are they? They're like slug snail thingies or roaches. Ugh. Ugh. Look, I don't like you. I don't like your faces, but I won't kill you. No reason to. Oh, you guys can right fall in. Turn corpse. Burp, 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 burp. Turian insignia recovered. It's unclear what happened to this Turian. He had an art, an ancient paper book with the Bostra outpost insignia printed on its cover. Cool. Mm, no. We didn't kill the kangaroos. No. Didn't kill the kangaroos. Leave these guys alone. Don't be an a hole. Think we got him, Commander. I don't think we got Jack. I think we actually didn't fight anything. We out. I should save the game, kill them, and see if they give AXP. <sighs> no. No. Paragon, damn it. Paragon. Huh. Hello, Crash Probe. All right. While I'm six million up, because of all the selling I did, I am no Omni Gel up. I'm about to be though. Uh, armor upgrade, rail. Let me check these and then convert them if I don't give a damn. Eh, 70% physics threshold. I think that's actually the next tier of whatever it is, which I think I gave to Ashley, right? Yeah. Boom. And then, yeah, these are the same. So yeah, that's Ashley's armor that I changed. Cool. And what is the other thing I picked up? Another scram rail. Eh. 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 Heat extension for scram rail, sure. Anybody want a new heat extension? A rail extension? Take it. What about you? You're good. Hmm. Turn it to Omni Gel. Yep. This. Turn it to. Wait, this or this? This. Turn it to Omni Gel. Only four. Okay. Last but not least, the actual reason we're here. Are those red dots on the map? We're about to find out. Look at that sniper going nuts. Excuse me. I'm going to just park right here and... Go, go, go! Yo. Things are falling from the damn sky. Stop shooting up the car, people. We actually need this piece of crap. We actually need it. Perimeter clear. It better be. What's in here? Uh huh. Oh, I didn't look at that. Not that I needed to. We were down on med gels. What? What? Yep. 
Explosion 9. I actually think that's something new. Uh huh, uh huh. High explosive. Boop. Ooh. 3%. Cool. Anything in here? Ooh. Detection radius 9. Give that to Garrus. Eh, screw it. He can stay with what he's got. We don't need detection radius. We got a new shotgun. We got a new sniper. All of junk. All of junk. All junk. So, it, how do I turn that thing to Omnigel? Convert this item into Omnigel. Turn that to Omnigel. Turn this to Omnigel. Cool. How much Omnigel we got? 94. Not great. You guys have a lot of points. I have none. I'm not investing Jack because there's no reason to. Are we in for a fight? There appear to be enemies, tons of them, and dead scientists or something. Mercenaries? Hello. Oh wait, we get to try this. Yeah, it's funny because Where is he? You. Ooh. Wait. Hold on. I saw a little red laser thing like a sniper it shot me. If there's another sniper in here, I'm hunting him down. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, come on. That was easy. That was free. That was free. Pistol, sniper, pistol. Junk. Alright, who's up? No idea we got him, what we're doing here. Their bodies on the floor and junk. Oh my goodness. Stop it. Shotgun. Yep. One more and we get in advanced which is 50% more damage and yeah there's 50% more damage no lower cooldown no greater radius just 50% more damage which is fine with me perfectly fine with me can you believe I wanted the rifle so bad I went through the game with the rifle so bad and now I'm shotgun I'm shotgun Shep Pick one and stick with it, Shepard. If I could go back and change it all, would I? Is that? No. Okay. Loot. Boop, 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 boop. Loot. Boop, boop. Ah. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, still no good stuff. Let me throw. What's behind this door? Can't go that way. Hello, I'm Shepard. Nice to meet you. Stay back. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please. He's a madman. Mr. Toombs, you're insane. You need help. It's Corporal. Corporal Toombs. You don't get to lie. Not today. Today it all comes out. It's coming out. All right. Let me help. What's going on? Put down the gun. I can help. I'm Shepard. What all comes out? I'm listening, but I need you to put that gun down. You don't understand. I don't want to kill anyone. Too late. I, I want to go to sleep without screaming in my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. Hmm. Can't you see the tombs is crazy? Shoot him! But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. But you don't want to kill anybody, right? What happened, moron? What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on a coos. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. 
Now they had someone to run tests on. Why would that be? Why would? Why would they want to run tests on you because you survived? Also, Thresher Maw is plural. I would like to visit this planet, please. They let your team die, so this is revenge. What do you mean? What kind of tests are we talking about? You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Ever had Thresher Maw acid in your veins? Probably. I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They treated me like a lab animal. I only escaped because somebody destroyed Cerberus, their big organization. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or not? My... Ed, let's make this public. This isn't justice. You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. I couldn't help then. You're still a soldier. This is worse for him. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coup, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. Okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. But we have no evidence. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. I do. It doesn't. You did a good job. It's over. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Tombs stares more morosely? Yeah. Tombs stares morosely at the floor, lost in his memories. You give the scientists a shove towards the door. Your mission complete. The Alliance courts will take it from here. We have no evidence. Once again, no evidence. Uh, well, this planet was... Eh? Also, Garrus, I shouldn't have brought you. I'm here if you need me. Because we're going to take you on the next planet. I just remembered. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Stars. I did not see those. To the stars. Oop. Oop, 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 oop. Ah, oh, that was free. That was free. That was free. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. You can't force me to use Omni Gel in this. Ha, sucker. Okay. 41 mil. I mean, 41k. Okay, next on the agenda is, oh right, we got more side missions, the dead scientists. You convinced Tombs to report to Hackett when the situation was up. How am I supposed to do that? Just touch this? Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Tomb seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, you'll have a normal life again someday. Thank you again for your assistance, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Cool. Now, let me check. Is that all the side missions and only Garrus is left? Yes. As I from collect thons and F that. Uh, we need to go to her shell system in the Kelper, Kepler Verge. Blah, blah, blah. See you there. All right, new solar system, which means zoom out. Ah, oh, damn it! I thought zoom out would give me more. I saw that. Oh, boop. Oh. oh. Which means look for shinies. We found one, so I don't think we have to look in that quadrant anymore. Look for shinies. I don't see anything. I guess that's where we need to go. Klugon. Klugon's hydrogen helium atmosphere is given a fairly dramatic emerald tint by chlorine and ionized gases. It has nearly 100 moons. Green on zoom out as well. Nice, nice. 
uh, Matol. Uh, several attempts to chart Matol have been made, but none have been successful. Uh, by normal standards, a small rock planet, Matol, has a dense atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and argon, with a surprising amount of water vapor. Fogs and rain are common on the barren, lifeless surface. Tungle. Tungle is a massive terrestrial world, nearly twice the size of Earth, with a dense atmosphere of nitrogen and ethane. Uh, its scorching hot surface is mainly composed of iron with extensive deposits of heavy metals and radioactives. It is a mineralogic it is a mineralogical treasure trove and many corporations are lobbying for its mining rights. Klobak, Klobaka. Klobaka is a moderately sized terrestrial world with a hazy hydrocarbon atmosphere. Its surface is mainly composed of chlorides, deposits of solids, and liquid form hydrocarbons. Cool. Garrus, let's do this. Oh, and I have to read. The Fettle is a Kowloon class modular convoy, convoyer of human design. In addition to the standard cargo bay, the hull has several biological research modules attached. Private owner, Dr. R. Hart. Not for long, Hart. Garrus, Liara. Or Rex. Garrus and Rex? Hmm. Yeah, Garrus and Rex haven't been in a team for a while. Garrus, you and me look like crap. But Rex, my god, the man's an Xbox. Do, do, do. Why are there red dots on the map? How you know we came here with any hostility in mind, you a-holes. You brought this on yourselves. I didn't shoot first. Shepard didn't shoot first. Looks like sailings, cloning organs. All right, I should actually fight you guys. My bad. I took one look at them not being human and said, you know what, I could just run through this. But no, I actually have to get rid of them. All clear. I think in all of that, I shot one thing for the record and they took care of the rest. Y'all are on point, not gonna lie. Nothing in here to loot, it seems. Also, I was going to give the doctor the benefit of the doubt. Be like, hey, Gears, maybe we can just talk to this guy. Maybe he's not crazy. Maybe he is just some new guy. Nope. Nothing. Not. Ooh, something. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Oh. Huh. He must be a good actor. Because he doesn't recognize you, Garrus. Garrus? Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. <sighs> it's the Paragon choice. I can't, Garrus. I can't. We'll take him in, drop him off at the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. I'll do it. All right. Think, Garrus. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I. Th okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the commander your life. 
Oh, thank you so very much. Really? Really? And so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? I'll tell you. Shut up and listen. You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Solia. Wait, Salians? Salians medical experiment is stained with the blood of many species. Pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red. But his work has ended here. Time to head back to the Normandy. Well, that was that. All honesty, he could have had the benefit of the doubt. I mean, had he not immediately upon hearing, ah, they're going to take me in for questioning, decided to pull out a gun. Well, I mean, jokes on him. <laughs> you could have scumbagged your way out of it somehow. I mean, they would have looked into stuff, but he had an, hmm. Did he have a decent story? He said he was trapped in here by those things, ooh. But would it have checked out? That's the question. We're getting a bunch of nines and junk, but decryption skill too low. All right, Garrus, decryption. Thank you. Yo, 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 yo. Damn, close, 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 close. About damn, close, 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 close. <gasps> Success fail. I got it. I'm the best around. Nothing's going to ever keep Shepard down. Let me check my inventory really quick. Anything better? No. Anything better? No. Anything better? No. No. Obviously, we aren't going to find anything good in here. Well, oh yeah, this way was a thing, but we didn't get to go in here. Oh, it's just the pilot seat and junk. Okay. I mean, I believe the dude in as much as there were a bunch of monsters running around. But who knows? Maybe he let them loose as soon as he saw our ship coming. So, yeah, screw him. Let this be a lesson to you. Go in for questioning and don't immediately pull a firearm. Like, if you immediately pull the firearm, we know you're guilty. Or, if you think you can win the firefight. I mean, not against Shepard, but still. Return to the Normandy? Yes, please. And with that done, let's go talk to Garrus. Also, let's check and see if you have anything better. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you... You bet, Commander. Hmm. I mean... I mean... One million? It might as well be a million. I mean, like, these are things that I saved, scummed, and got at my apartment. So you know they're good, but, like... Are they one million good? No. 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 Hell no. Garrus. Commander, I... What can I do for you? What's the matter? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn gas. Garrus, dude. I feel like you should have said this a lot earlier, because Saren, he, he's right over there. He's right over there, man. I mean, I can't point to him, but, like, we kind of know where we're going. You think he'll get away? We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Are you worried? I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? Sure. What is it? Are you 
worried that the council might be protecting Saren. Kinda. I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? It's possible. You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. Hmm. Eh, I mean, how is Saren doing all of this anyway? Because he has that one ship that indoctrinates people. Yeah, he doesn't have like the infinite resources, the quote resources of a specter. So if we time down without the ship, he's nothing, right? Last resort. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. Think about it. Enough. Use your head. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Kinda. Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. This is kinda the exact same thing we went through with the doctor. Garris. Shepard. Alright, let's-